What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today's video, we're going to talk about whether blank ammunition is dangerous or not. Now, what started this was about, oh, a little over a month ago, October 21st, we saw a tragedy strike a filming location. Uh, for those that may or may not know, uh, Alec Baldwin was involved in an incident on a filming set where uh, one individual was shot and killed and the other individual was shot and injured. So we don't have all the details surrounding it yet. Um, and to be honest, I really struggled with whether or not to make this video. Uh, but ultimately gun safety is very important. So we're going to talk about some different stuff there. And we're going to do a couple of tests with blank ammunition. Uh, I saw a lot of comments after this happened that uh, blank ammunition is dangerous. Blank ammunition isn't dangerous. That wasn't the cause. From the sounds of what we know so far is that there was a live projectile that made it onto the, the studio grounds. Nobody really knows how or why, but we're going we're gonna to talk about all of it. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. So what are the five basic rules of firearm safety? Well, number one, always point your firearm in a safe direction. Number two, treat every firearm as if it's loaded. Even after you check and clear it, still treat it like it's loaded and keep it pointed in a safe direction, away from people. Treat it with the respect and treat the people around you with respect as well. Number three, keep your finger off the trigger and away from the trigger guard until you're ready to take your shot. Another way of putting it that we've all probably heard is uh, keep your booger hook off the bang switch. Number four, Always know your target and what lies behind it. And you can also go a step further and make sure you know what's between you and your target. And number five, always wear appropriate eye and ear protection when you're shooting. All right, everybody, we're set up. This is a 45 blank round. It's loaded with powder and primer, but it's only got just a very thin layer of wax on the end of it. And that's the cap to keep the powder from falling out. But, uh, these projectiles, they do throw powder, but we're going to find out just exactly what they're going to do. We're five yards back. We've got a spaghetti squash with a balloon on it, and we're going to shoot it with the blank round and see what kind of reaction we get. Let's go take a look. All right, well, we popped the balloon. So at five yards, 15 feet, there was enough powder coming out of that to pop the balloon. However, there is no kind of damage to the outer skin of the spaghetti squash. So, we're going to shoot it point blank and see what can happen. Now we're going to shoot this spaghetti squash at point blank range with a blank and see what kind of damage there is. Okay. There's our point blank shot with the spaghetti squash. A lot of powder burn and a semi deep crater actually. All right, well we've seen from both up close and at a distance what a blank is capable of. Obviously up close, there was a lot of damage to the skin of that spaghetti squash. Uh, honestly, probably enough to kill you uh, if you had a blank round discharge right next to your head for whatever reason. Um, from 15 feet, five yards back, maybe not so much. There was obviously enough power and powder left over to, to pop the balloon, but there was no damage to the skin of that spaghetti squash. Probably would cause an injury, but might not kill you. So now I want to talk about something else from this, this very tragic incident. Uh, today, December 1st, Alec Baldwin actually released his first statement and interview since this incident. Uh, he said that he's not sure really how 
live ammunition ended up on the set. It wasn't supposed to be there at all. Somehow it did, and unfortunately it resulted in this tragedy. Uh, but something else that he said in his statement was that he did not pull the trigger. Now, I'm not going to say anything about, at, or against Alec Baldwin, but we're going to test the theory on that. Uh, obviously, on the surface, we all know that for a firearm to discharge, you have to pull the trigger. That's the way it's supposed to work. However, being this was a, an old western themed uh, filming event they were doing, uh, I brought out another revolver that we're going to test this theory and see. I've heard that they were practicing quick draw and all this other stuff when this incident happened and I think I actually have a theory on what may have happened with Alec Baldwin's firearm that would actually back up him not having pulled the trigger. So we're going to put that to the test next. And again, there's nothing scientific about this. There's nothing that I'm saying that this is or isn't what happened. This is just a, a rifleman theory. So we're going to put this to the test now. This test, I've got a Ruger Vaquero 45 Colt. This one was actually used for cowboy mounted action shooting. So it's been modified for this. It was used for shooting blanks. Uh, if you don't know what cowboy mounted action shooting is, you should look it up. It's a lot of fun to watch. I used to do it a long time ago, uh, but the different stuff happened. I got out of it and it's something I really want to get back into one of these days. But this revolver, uh, the hammer was lightened. So as you're doing cowboy mounted action shooting, you're riding your horse and shooting at balloons along your course, well, on what's called the rundown, it's the final stretch back towards uh, your time gate. So we're doing this for time. Uh, your horse is at a full gallop and you're shooting these balloons. You want a hammer that cocks very easily. Now, I'll show you. This is empty. Um, so this, these revolvers like this, they have a four click uh, hammer system. So first click back is your safety, two clicks back, typically is what unlocks the cylinder so you can rotate it and load it. Three clicks back and then four holds the hammer back to fire it. Now this one, it doesn't have a one, a two, or a three. It only has four. So, and that's so that you can get the hammer back quicker and easier on your rundown for a better time. Now, what may have happened in this particular incident with Alec Baldwin, again, I'm not an expert on this. I don't know, it's just, a theory that I have. If he was practicing quick draw, which is something that we've heard through all this, if you had a hammer that was like this, you come back to three, if he didn't make it all the way to four, his thumb slipped off, that hammer is going to come back down. So what we're going to test is whether or not that will actually set off a cartridge in the cylinder. I can get the round out of my gun belt here. Here we go. This one is actually a live round. We're gonna test this with a live round since that may or may not be what happened on the set. Um, so we're gonna test this with a live round. We're safe down range. We've got our spaghetti squash still. I'm gonna shoot it with this live round and test whether or not a light hammer drop like that could actually set off this round. Okay, we're at three. Okay, three wasn't enough. Okay, so it may not be what happened. Okay, we're locked back on four, and we're gonna go ahead and take this shot now. So looking at this, 
Take this round out. We're empty. If you look, see if I can get this focused. Okay, I've got this focused in. You can see right here, there's this little gate that comes up. And it blocks the firing pin as the hammer's coming back. So this particular revolver would not be capable of firing without the hammer being locked all the way back. This revolver, on the other hand, again, is not loaded. This revolver, on the other hand, I don't know if you can see in there, does not have that gate. So let's give it a try under the same conditions. We're gonna do the exact same test as we did with the mounted shooting pistol. Uh, I've got another live cowboy action shooting round. This is different from cowboy mounted action shooting. Okay, so one is on the ground shooting at targets, the other is mounted off a horseback with blanks. This is a cowboy action shooting round. It is loaded, it is live. So since this revolver doesn't have the light hammer in it, we're gonna have to do this slightly different, but we're still gonna do it safely. So I'm gonna hold the hammer back and hold my finger down on the trigger, which allows that hammer to still move freely. And we're gonna aim it at our spaghetti squash and see if it'll go off. It did not. Okay, so there's, right there's our third click. Let's try it one more time. Light pull on our, and there it went off. So very possible that could be what happened. Again, we don't know. This is a rifleman theory, just something I wanted to test out. Here's our shot with the spaghetti squash. We just kind of topped it, but there is what the round did to it. All right, everybody. So we've seen it all in the movies. There's always the cowboy does his quick draw and wins the duel or quick draw saves the girl. But how safe is quick draw really? You've got your, your gunslinger's belt on, you're looking cool. So now, we go to do, I'm gonna do this in slow motion first. Your hand comes to your gun, and instantly, as it comes out, your fingers go into the trigger, because you need to make that shot quick. So as you pull out, your finger is on the trigger, hammer's coming back. That creates a situation where if you're not being careful, then you could set your gun off either right here, pointed at your foot, or anywhere coming up towards your target. Now if you set off anywhere, pointed at the ground, you could have a ricochet, whether it comes back at you or at someone else, that's a whole different story. But as you do this quickly, notice I didn't cock it. Even though it's empty, I didn't cock it while I was practicing because we always treat every gun like it's loaded. As you do this, your natural instinct is the gun's coming up. Right now it's pointed directly at my kneecap. If I come forward even just an inch or two, it's pointed directly at my foot. As I come up, now I'm trying to compensate. I'm yanking that gun upward and it naturally wants to curve up. So as I'm doing that, now I'm creating the situation where the gun already wants to come up. Now I'm trying to cock it, which is pulling it back even more. You could create a situation where you end up shooting up into the air. So quick draw shooting, as cool as it looks, it's something that should never be done without very, very careful training, very specialized training. 
and never with live ammunition, in my opinion. All right, everybody. That's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman. YouTube, this was educational content. Please don't shut my channel down. Uh, if you guys liked the video, please make sure to click like and subscribe. Share it with your friends and family. Um, this video, like I said, it was one that I wasn't sure I was going to film, honestly. Uh, it's a very sensitive topic for some people. It's a very tragic event overall. Um, but there's some takeaways from it that unfortunately, as there are with any tragic incident, there's always a takeaway that we can, we can learn from. So uh, ultimately I did feel it was important to talk about gun safety, put a video out about blank ammunition, because like I said, there was a lot of commentary that I saw flying around about blanks being dangerous or not being dangerous. Um, and then obviously we're using some live projectiles here as well just for uh, testing purposes and context. We don't know what happened. It may be months or years before we really find out what actually happened that day. Um, but we test some Idaho Rifleman theories here on the channel today and uh, ultimately there's just there's a lot we can learn from. So please feel free to check out Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, like I've mentioned before I've got a firearms blog idaho you can head over there and read about the different videos that I've uploaded uh, and reviews on the firearms as well I hope you guys all have a great day take care stay safe and God bless we'll see you next time <laughs>